In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book, first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with three-year-old bull, an apple of flour and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my Lord, as you leave, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in return, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of mighty are broken while the tottering geared of his strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry waiten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the leader world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save me, whom you form from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, Mary said. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy 
on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. Friends, brothers, and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Ating binasa sa Ibanghelyong ito patuloy sa kung tayo ay nagsisimba araw-araw o nagsisimbang gabi. Tuloy-tuloy po iyon kahapon yung tagpo kung saan bumisita si Maria kay Elizabeth. At uh, pagkatapos nga noon, narinig natin itong ating gospel, the Magnificat, where, the Lord, where Mary praises the Lord for what He experienced. Kung ating susuriin lahat ng mga nakasulat dito, parang meron din siyang gustong sabihin sa atin. Di ba sometimes, ang buhay natin, meron din mga reversals. Yung bang ini-expect natin, pala natin A, pero ang lalabas B. Kuminsan, uh, some of them are okay, di ba? Takot na takot tayo, pero wala naman palang basis yung ating fear. At uh, nagiging mahusay naman yung kinahinatnan ng mga pangyayari sa ating buhay. And the gospel is replete or full of those reversals sa Old Testament, sa New Testament. Halimbawa, sa experience ni Maria, di ba? Dalaga. Wala naman siyang uh, fiancé. Wala siyang asawa, pero nabunti siya. Si Elizabeth, very old for pregnancy, pero nagbuntis din siya. Di ba? So those are reversals. And sometimes uh, in our lives, kumisan sasabihin natin, ito ba ay malas? Ito ba ay swerte? Is this a good Is this good news or is it not good news? Kaya kung minsan, uh, pwede natin gawing opportunity yung mga ganong pangyayari sa ating buhay na hindi natin na-foresee as, uh, as a chance for us perhaps to dig deeper doon sa ating naranasan, whatever that reversal may be. Pwedeng painful, pwedeng hindi. Uh, pero sometimes baka sabihin natin, isipin natin, is this a punishment from God? Not at all. I think that is just what life is, you know. Uh, parte ng buhay yun eh, yung hindi natin inaakala sapagkat wala naman talaga tayong control sa ating buhay. That, in fact, is already some, telling us something. Maybe somebody else who is greater than us, bigger than us, is in control. Kaya nga dapat makita natin, ano bang insight. Ano ba ang matututunan natin sa ganong klaseng experience? For example, si Joseph in the Old Testament, di ba? Binenta siya ng mga kapatid niya. Pero yung pala merong plano as Joseph said, God planned it for good. Ganon din sa ating buhay. Kung minsan sabi natin, alabawa merong dumating na trahedya sa ating buhay. Parang hirap isipin, ano? Yung bang Parang hindi ka makapag-isip ng mabuti actually kasi hindi mo ina-expect na may mawawala sa iyong buhay all of a sudden. Lalong-lalo na ang kamatayan, di ba? Or ang malubhang pagkakasakit. Hindi natin yan pinaplano. It just comes. And yet, in today's gospel, makikita natin si Mary. Nag-praise pa siya. I proclaim, di ba? I, I magnify the Lord for those experiences. Ganon din kaya tayo. Nakikita rin kaya natin ang kamayo, ang daliri ng Diyos sa ating mga nararanasan. Kadalasan kasi parang ginajudge agad natin ay ano bang ginawa ko ay baka dahil dito kaya ganito yung nangyari sa akin. No. 
it's just part of our lives, di ba? So perhaps, uh, itong magnificat na ito, tingnan natin kung, I think we can also relate to Mary, di ba, sa experience sa karanasan ni Maria, na kahit na parang hindi niya ma-explain talaga kung anong nangyari sa kanya, kung bakit siya naging uh, nanay ng, ng Christ or ng Messiah. And yet, she had the, the power in her to praise the Lord. Sana ganun din tayo. Ano, kung ano man ang uh, ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon, kung ano man ang ating magiging experience sa buhay, let us always, whether it be a happy moment, whether it be a sad or tragic moment, we must be able to see the hand of God and the will of God in those experiences. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Following the example of Mary, we praise and thank God the Father who, out of the abundance of His generosity, gave us His only Son as our Savior and Redeemer. For each intention we are going to say, may our being proclaim you, Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may, like Mary, listen to the Word of God and spare no effort in spreading it. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord. That mothers may look to Mary as true refuge and source of hope in moments of trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord. That by giving Mary a place of honor in our lives, in our homes, we may deepen our appreciation of her Son. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord, that through the intercession of Mary, the poor and the oppressed may be liberated from their condition. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord, that the dead may be welcomed into the company of the saints and join Mary in the eternal praise of God. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of peace that Mary brings to our troubled lives. Give us the help we need each day to be faithful to you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church, please stand. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar. 
that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints dominic and francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa po lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyong body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much for being one with us and your gifts of presences in the celebration and offering of the Holy Eucharist. Let us continue to pray for one another. Pagdasal nyo rin po kami sa aming mga responsibilidad dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa din po kayo na aming pinagdarasal din ang inyong mga dinadalangin at mga uh, intercessions that you want for your lives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Taas lang po ng kamay yung mga merong dinaramdam o merong nararamdaman sa kanila mga katawan. At kung kayo ay meron ding mga mahal sa buhay na naiwan sa bahay and you are substituting for them, you will also receive this blessing. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance with your divine will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para, sa, para naman po sa mga rosaryo ninyo, mga religious statues and articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. to our way to heaven. 